from our point of view, it is a system that does work and we've used it a number of times. Like, it certainly hasn't been embraced across the board. We know a lot of firms still haven't done one. And, and you know, I guess last year, particularly we saw with the COVID safe harbour, that kind of shelved the pre-existing safe harbour regime. But it, it certainly does work. And it, it, it in our view, it, it changes director behaviour because it gives them a, a really good sort of set of rails to comply with around governance. It's just hardly anyone knows about it. Interestingly, our, a lot more lawyers um, are now directing safe harbour leads than, than um, or turnaround leads, but it's coming off the back of a safe harbour conversation. Mm -hmm. So it, it certainly dealt the, you know, the, the insolvency litigation lawyers back into a more, more of a, a referral space in the last few years where they've lost a bit of that control. But the, often they're hearing about it for the first time when we're talking to them or it's come from um, a discussion with their financier, to be frank. So there needs to be a lot more education and that's the common theme coming out of this review in all the firms that we've spoken to and discussions that we've had with the panel. The, the lack of awareness is the biggest hurdle. It's the ultimate confidence tool. You've got to have a robust plan. You tick off all those compliance issues. You're staying up to date with your reporting, uh, with tax compliance and, and you're paying entitlements on top. That's what a financier wants to hear. It's actually a great confidence tool for them. And to try and get an incoming lender across the line uh, if it's a distress situation, uh, to get their credit team across the line, if you can say you're in safe harbour or you're or you're embarking upon a safe harbour, you know, evaluation process, it just gives a huge shot in the arm to credit as well. I mean, pre-safe harbour, I was a huge advocate for the business judgment rule, but we don't need that as long as safe harbour gets gets taken up across the board. You you actually don't need to soften our insolvent trading rules.